Strategy 2012-2021. Luke Oil went into business way back in 1991 as one of several oil-producing enterprises in Western Siberia. The company successfully overcame the difficulties of the transitional period in the Russian economy, weathered the world economic crisis, and has emerged as a transnational oil and gas major, operating in 43 countries. Its growth rate in the extraction of oil and gas, both on and offshore, in the production of premium petroleum products, petrochemicals and electricity, and also its supplies of crude and petroleum products on the global market, have all made Luke Oil an accomplished global energy player. Luke Oil is the first Russian company whose shares received full listing on the London Stock Exchange 10 years ago, the only private Russian oil company whose share capital is dominated by minority shareholders. Luke Oil's rating among the world's major private oil and gas companies as of 2010 is number one in terms of proven oil reserves, 1% of global reserves, and number three in terms of oil production, 2.2% of global production. On the eve of its 20th anniversary, Luke Oil, Russia's largest private oil and gas company, formulated a new strategy of growth. Luke Oil's strategic goals for the period of 2012-2021 are a stable growth of shareholder value, annual growth rate of hydrocarbon production upwards of 3.9%, full compensation of hydrocarbon production with incremental reserves, greater share of overseas projects in free cash flow, a greater depth of oil refining and transition to production without fuel oil, environmental, industrial, social and personal safety. Luke Oil will be able to achieve these goals due to the potential accumulated during the 20 years of stable development and as a result of implementing the most promising projects or growing points. Luke Oil growth drivers include the West Kurna 2 field development megaproject in Iraq. As early as 2017, the field's mere 600 wells will yield 90 million tons of oil. This is to be compared with the 90 million tons of oil which Luke Oil produced in 2011 from 27,000 wells. Field development in the northern Caspian. Luke Oil is Russia's only company developing offshore fields in the Baltic and in the Caspian without outside assistance. The export duty for Caspian oil is only half of that for oil from other Russian fields. Caspian gas will have a synergizing effect on the company's energy and gas chemical assets. Gas projects in Uzbekistan. Due to the favorable tax regulation here, the specific net profit in Uzbekistan is higher than in Western Siberia. New technologies of extraction of hard-to-reach oil. Raising the oil recovery factor up to 40%, development of structures of the Bajanov Group in the Western Siberian Basin with recoverable reserves estimated at 50 billion tons of oil. Innovative technologies of reservoir stimulation, such as thermal gas injection, water alternated gas injection, and steam gas cycling are being developed and introduced by Luke Oil. Field development on the shelf of Western Africa. Luke Oil has accumulated the unique experience of drilling at water depths exceeding two kilometers and gathered valuable geological data to confirming considerable hydrocarbon reserves in the area. As a result of attaining the growing points in upstream, the average annual production growth of hydrocarbons will reach 3.9% or up to 1.167 billion barrels a year, thus bringing into development the amount of reserves worth 13.6 billion barrels of oil equivalent. The share of gas in overall production of hydrocarbons will approach 27%. Another growing point is oil refining within Russia. Given the current tax burden, Russian refineries will remain highly profitable. The Russian market of automotive gasoline demonstrates a 3.4% growth annually. 
More than 10 billion US dollars will be committed to the upgrading of Russian refineries. The growing points need to attract considerable investments. At the same time, the return on the capital employed will be at least 20%, whereas the debt equity ratio will not exceed 20%. In 2021, the growing points will generate a free cash flow to the tune of 22.5 billion US dollars, which will make it possible to raise the share of dividends in the net profit from 18 to 40%. To be able to reach the goals set, Lukoil is arguing for amendments to the Russian legislation in order to win the right of access to strategic fields, offshore fields, and receive such taxation regulations that would stimulate investments into the development of heavy oil fields. This would be another growing point for the company. From its formation in 1991, Lukoil has been headed by the professional oilman Vagit Alekperov who started work as an assistant driller and is now president of one of the world's biggest oil and gas companies listed in the Guinness Book of World Records. The world's northernmost fixed offshore ice-resistant offloading terminal in the Barents Sea ships light crude from Timon Pechora to the world market all year round. I'm sure that the strategy designed by the company management and approved by the board of directors ensures Lukoil's dynamic development in the current decade and also gives confidence that the company will carry out its mission of reliable supply of energy resources to our operating countries and good shareholder return to our stockholders. Lukoil 2012-2021 Strategy of Growth